And at the ninth hour, Jesus looked up to the heavens and said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And giving out a loud cry, he breathed his last. The crucifixion of Jesus is the single most portrayed image in all of Christian history. In all of Christian art, it is the image that is most seen, most often, more than any other moment. Not his birth, not his miracles, not the resurrection, not a healing, nothing has represented more often than the cross of Jesus. I'd like to suggest there are at least two reasons why this might be so. First, the crucifixion represents the ultimate gift, the depths to which the love of God will go for us. What wondrous love is this, the old hymn says, that you would undergo so much for someone else. The crucifixion, what someone will give, what God will give, to let us know that we are beloved beyond all reason is best represented in the crucifixion of Jesus. But there is a second reason why the death of Jesus is significant for us. And that is in some way, in some visceral way, a way of which we may not even be aware. We may identify ourselves with the crucified Lord. We might know those moments in life that crucify us. And indeed, we too will face a moment when we will have to decide whether we will trust our life into the hands of the Father and breathe our last. And that's all right. I think that's what Jesus intends, is for us to see ourselves, our suffering, our doubt, our indecision, in him, and to see the gift that he makes of himself, even now, the gift of faith he makes to God when there is absolutely no reason to believe that there is a loving father to trust himself to, so that we too, when all evidence is taken from us, might make that same act of faith, that we too are loved beyond reason beyond evidence, a love that we trust our spirit, our lives to, not just at the moment when we breathe our last, but this day and every day on our own way of the cross.